What's up, guys? Ha! 90 mile challenge accountability video, right? Walked out to my destination where I'm gonna put the damage in real quick. Um, hey, listen, make sure you stay tuned. I'm gonna be talking about high blood pressure, constipation, dehydration, and sleep deprivation. Let's get it. <laughs> What's up, guys? You know who it is. Marcus with another episode of Rise and Grind, baby. You see that beautiful sun peeking over the, the hill right there? Peeking over the trees. Oh, man. Hey. You want to get that circadian rhythm going, your body's natural biological clock going, wake up with the sun, get out and exercise with the sun, that'll help a whole lot. <laughs> that'll help you balance your body's natural circadian rhythm, okay? Oh, man, listen. Oh, got my mile in. Right. So listen, here we go. Shout out to the DSD Army. All right. 90 mile challenge. Listen, I didn't realize so many people were scared of going live. You know, I got people inboxing me saying, I'm doing a 90 mile challenge, but I just don't want to go live. I'm like, why? I don't know. I just. I don't want everybody watching me. I'm like, oh my goodness, people are watching you. <laughs> Why are you running around? But I understand, okay? That's still a requirement, guys. I can't back off the requirement. I mean, you gotta, that's the accountability, okay? Uh, man, you gotta at least take a picture, man. Golly. I can't be backing down off the requirements for y'all. Come on, y'all. Ah, uh, all right. This is what we'll do, okay? At least take a picture, all right? Take a picture on your walking trail, your walking street, in your workout clothes or something, okay? Because I understand that. You know, some people are shy about talking to people in public, you know, so all that public speaking fear and stuff. Okay, any damn way. Um, I did my go live earlier about high blood pressure, um, sleep deprivation, dehydration, and constipation, right? So, listen, this is what you gotta, this is what I found out, okay? I did a, I did a, I spoke on this at a, a, a natural, um, natural to, uh, God, I think it was a natural to health convention, natural to health convention last year. Uh, so, but I didn't, I didn't record it, so. It's all good. <clears throat> Listen, Whew, <I'm> tired, man. <laughs> um, when you have high blood pressure, right? This is what happens, all right? It taxes every single organ in your body, right? Including your heart. And your, your kidneys is what regulates all of your, you know, your your quote unquote vital signs, okay? So, if your, if your kidneys, something, something's happening, right? They're either the kidneys are uh, being taxed too much or they're not getting enough water or there's not a lot of function going on when, you know, you have hormone levels and different levels in your body that are not, um, you know, normalized, okay? Something's going on with the kidneys, all right? So, now you say that and you're like, okay, well, let me work on my kidneys. Well, it's not just that. Like every, when you're, when you're dehydrated, it affects every single organ in the body. So it's kind of hard to give somebody, you know, supplements to take or medication to take just to help the liver, or I'm sorry, just to help the kidneys or just to help any organ in the body that's kind of hard to do where you pinpoint 
you know, they say, okay, well, this is your heart medication. Well, this is your kidney medication. Well, this medication is for your lungs. Well, this medication is for your uh, pancreas and so on and so forth. It's like, wait a minute. You know, if someone's got to, someone's got to give, because, you know, I can't be, you can't be taking, you know, 20, 30. Some people have hundreds of medications that they take throughout the day. So, at some point, you got to, enough is enough, man. You got to figure out what's going on. Because you're, you're living off of chemicals, right? That's what it boils down to. You're living off of chemicals because of these main three things. Dehydration, sleep deprivation, and constipation, all right? So, research hydration. I'm sorry. Yeah, research hydration and research um, symptoms of um, dehydration, right? So I'm just going to give you one natural way that will definitely help you, help your body uh, retain water so you can keep, so you can stay hydrated, right? Um, because there may be something that you can just completely um, conquer or dis-ease with, with simply drinking water, right? Adding water to your diet. Now, when you add water to your diet, what you want to do is get some sea salt all right it's got to be um um i use the the um pink himalayan sea salt you can get it from natural grocers okay um and that'll help you your body hold the water a little bit all right i wouldn't i wouldn't use table salt or anything like that i would get a they have celtic uh celtic sea salt that I don't know if they sell it at Walmart. You may have to go to an actual uh, store that sells organic and you know basically health food uh, like natural grocers, Whole Foods, or something like that, or Sprouts. You want the Celtic sea salt or pink Himalayan sea salt, and just put a pinch in your in your bottle of water. I recommend drinking at least a liter a day. All right, at least a liter a day. You don't have to drink it all at once. Just take you a liter a bottle and you know pour it in your little cup or whatever right so that way your body will stay hydrated you don't have to worry about your body's effects because you you don't know like a lot of people do not realize that they're dehydrated they they have no idea they never even thought drinking water was that important i, I know because i talk to people every day <laughs> you know and uh when i get new clients they're like completely you know just completely dumbfounded when it comes to wait a minute you mean i gotta drink water why why would i have to drink so much water and it's a liter i mean like <laughs> so you wonder why you're in the shape that you're in not not to talk about you at all but oh uh, that's why we're in the shape because we don't know like how do we how do they not teach in school to drink water you know in the health class and stuff like that like i don't know but maybe we just forget so Hydration is very, very important. The way you can conquer it is put just a little pinch of salt inside your water, you know, and drink it throughout the day, okay? So, now, let's move on to sleep deprivation, all right? So, sleep deprivation is your ability, or you know, they call it insomnia, right? So, that's your, you can't sleep, you know, it's late at night, you want to go to sleep, you can't sleep, and you're up, then you make your Facebook posts, Who's still up? <laughs> you know, because I'm when I'm when I'm up working late, and I have a client. Like some of my clients are, they're in different time zones. So when it's like 12 o'clock in the afternoon there, you know what I'm saying? It's like 10, 11 o'clock at night here, or it's like two o'clock in the morning where they are, and then um, you know, it's like maybe six o'clock here in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Like the time for, I mean, it's, it's crazy. So when I talk to them, you know, I'm up, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm up sometimes two, three o'clock in the morning. And that's why I got these big ass bags under my eyes. <laughs> but you know, hey, it's all good. Um, so with sleep deprivation, this is what, and this is what I do. So like I work from home. So, you know what I'm saying? I can get, I can sneak a, you know, extra nap in here and there. You know, when I take my breaks, you know, um, 
I still take my 30 minute breaks. I still take my 15 minute breaks. You know, I get up, stretch my legs and hold nine yards. Uh, so what you want to do is set a schedule. Like this is a very, very natural way, very inexpensive way, right? To, um, to conquer the, you know, insomnia, sleep deprivation. All right. Set a schedule, right? And this is the main thing that, you know, that helps out 90% of my clients set a schedule, write your schedule out, get you a journal. Okay. Get you a journal, go to the dollar store, you know, get a notebook. Uh, they're like 59 cents now, you know, since school is in and nobody's really buying school supplies like that. So you can get some, maybe 25 cents, get you a little journal and write your schedule out. So at, <clears throat> so you want to get, let's say you got to be at work at seven o'clock. You get up at six o'clock, right? <clears throat> if you go to sleep at 12 o'clock, what's that? One, two, three, four, up at five o'clock. That's only five hours. You know what I'm saying? Or let's say you sleep until six, right? <clears throat> That's six hours, but you don't have a schedule. So you don't know, you know what I'm saying? You don't really know what to go by. You don't have a guideline to discipline yourself, right? So you just go to sleep whenever. So even though you can get your six hours in, right? It's not consistent. You're not able to keep it up. So get your six hours in. If you know, if you get up at five o'clock, you know, that's five hours. If you get up at six, you know, that's your six hours. So get your, try to get at least six hours. Okay. I know some people's work schedule. Uh, you know, I know some of you guys have two jobs and, uh, and I know you guys have a job and you're trying to get your business uh, going with the 90 day blitz and everything too. But <clears throat> I understand the grind. Uh, please uh, let, let me tell you, I understand the grind. All right. But the grind doesn't mean perform suboptimum guys. Okay. And when you give yourself two or three hours of sleep a day, you are performing at a suboptimum. I don't care what nobody tells you. You are performing at a suboptimum level. And that's not that's not how we build a business. That's not how we stay fit. You know, we don't that's, it doesn't work that way, okay? So, get your 6 hours in. All right? If you got to cut some people off, cut them off. All right? We want to go as natural as possible, okay? And we don't want anybody giving us medication to make us go to sleep. All right? We don't want that. Not when we can Set a, we can do it naturally by setting a, setting a schedule and where we need to be in the bed, you know, by 10 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? You got to cut the turn off time up, down, you know, go out, have fun. 10 o'clock hit, head to the crib. You know, you need to be in the bed by 12, you know, 10, be in the bed by 10, you know, and you know, when you get your turn up on 12 o'clock, you got to cut your, you got to cut the time, um, you, you got to repair your body, okay? You have to repair your body. So you can't be up at the turn up no more, three, four o'clock in the morning, then go to the damn after party, you know, and you party until eight o'clock in the morning. That's, hey, I already know, because I used to do it. So listen, no ma'am, no sir. <laughs> we, we're not doing that no more, all right? Um, now, once you get to where you're going and you want to splurge a little bit, then go right ahead. But you got to get your sleep in and this is a natural way to do it very very natural nothing else get you a schedule all right get a schedule <laughs> all right schedule yourself sleep time all right naps um you know power naps 15 minute power naps are better than you know sometimes you know them four five hour naps okay so and don't try to and don't try to make up all your sleep on the weekend all right Cause that keeps people from getting a lot of shit done. You know, I call uh, when I when it's time for me to check in with my clients, you know, see what's going on with them, and I call them. Hey, you got your workout in? Oh, well, you know, it's the weekend. Um, you know, no, 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 no. You stick to your schedule, okay? Don't try to catch up on all your sleep on the weekend, okay? You not that keeps you from getting a lot of shit done. All right. So most of us are off on the weekend. So that's when you need to <clears throat> stick to your schedule the most because you're off and it's easy for you to get off schedule. All right. So that's your natural, your natural way to conquer sleep deprivation. <clears throat> okay. Now 
Moving on to constipation. Dang, I know this video is long, guys. Just stick with me. Stick with me just a little longer. Constipation. All right. So you know when you when you walk around and you got like this spare tire around your stomach and your waist area, you know, it's just a layer of fat just kind of hanging over, right? Well, a lot of times, yeah, that is fat. However, it's also our um our sometimes our colon is swollen. All right, our colon is is um inflamed. All right, it was a medical term for you college educated folks. Um so you got really really severe inflammation in the colon. So, you know, basically your bowels are protruding the stomach, okay? So, you know, you got things that come up with leaky gut syndrome, you know, all that kind of stuff, man. And this it's not good, okay? It's not good. I've been through it already. You know, I've, I've, my stomach was big. Every time I eat, I was bloated. You know, I've been, I've been through all that, guys. So I know, um, I know this is an issue that, um, you know, that we're dealing with, right? So here's the thing. What I would recommend you do is get a uh, colonic, okay? So I have a young lady that we did, well, that we go get our colonics with. Um, I put her information in the description, right? Um, it's called the company is called Cleanse Thyself Purely. If you want to go online real quick and um, you know schedule an appointment, or whatever, do your thing. Uh, and no, I'm not getting paid for this or nothing. I just care about y'all, and I want y'all to, um, especially, you know, I, I care about everybody, but especially my clients, um, because I travel a lot, and sometimes I miss the uh, ability to be able to um, connect with them on a regular basis. So when I travel, uh, the time zone may be off. I might be in the air, you know what I'm saying? And not able to talk to them or, you know what I'm saying? Or they might be traveling and I might not be able to talk to them. So I want to put some videos out here on YouTube. So that way they can always connect and find out, you know, whatever they need to find out from me. So, uh, but yeah, I love all you guys, man. I care about you. So. I don't want you constipated, okay? So what will help? Hydration is gonna help you with constipation, all right? Hydrating the body, okay? Sleep, sleeping is gonna help you with constipation, okay guys? And another, and a natural, very, very natural, very natural way to do it is to, one, get some magnesium in your body, okay? Magnesium is the go-to, uh, you know, supplement. It's the go-to for, for everything, right? You know, when you have a heart attack in a the hospital, they, that's the first thing they give you is magnesium, you know, because magnesium, it opens up everything, gets everything flowing, right? Um, it's a, it regulates things in the body. So that's the first thing they give you when you get to the hospital, you know, you have some, something going on, they start pumping that magnesium in you, you know, magnesium and potassium. And what do they do? They give you an IV, you know what I'm saying? So they can, so you can start hydrating the body from the outside, right? It, I'm sorry, hydrate the body intravenously for you educated folks. Um, so that's, that's what it is, okay? So you want to, you want to be going, guys, if you're not taking a dump at least once a day, all right? If you're not hitting the toilet at least once a day and you're not passing bowel, um, you're not passing, you know, you're not taking a dump at least once a day. You need to, you really need to research that. Okay. <laughs> you really need to research that. And I, I can guarantee you it's because of the, because of the fuckload of, um, medications that you're taking, you know, it's got your body inflamed. So I can guarantee you that. Okay. I can guarantee you that's what's going on, but you know, Hey, I'm not a doctor, so please don't stop taking your medication. Um, like I said, do research. All right, do research. Um, there are very, very natural ways that can help deal with some of this stuff, guys. Um, you want to take a dump at least once a day and try, please try. Okay, try your try to increase your water intake. Okay, and see if that helps. Give it three days. All right, give it a week. Okay, give it a week. You know, get you some magnesium. You know, you can buy it over the counter. Um, get some magnesium going. 
They have magnesium uh, citrate that you can buy. Uh, kind of tastes like Sprite. You can take that. You can buy that. It's maybe two or three dollars at Walmart, if that. Um, they have. You can go to natural grocers and get herbal. Um, uh, it's called Swiss Chris, I think. Swiss Chris. It's an herbal laxative. All right, everything in it is natural. Um, you know, it's uh, it it helps. So let me see. Another. Uh, make sure you're getting your fish oils in. All right. So once you get the fish oils and omega threes, once I recommended that to some of my clients, fish oils changed. Man, it changed people's life. <laughs> you know, you know, you don't necessarily need a prescription to take uh, fish oils or magnesium or any of that. But like I said, I'm not a doctor, so um, make sure you consult with your doctor. You don't be telling them, well, Marcus put me on a magnesium. No, I didn't put you on magnesium. I said, do your research. <laughs> Okay, listen, um, I held y'all long enough. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you for your likes, your comments. Please continue to subscribe. Um, to my new subscribers, hey, hey, you, you, you have came to the right place, man, okay? You have, you have landed on the right channel, all right? So listen, my, uh, my health and fitness, health and wellness videos are gonna be in the morning time right and i'm gonna go business in the evening time okay so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned because i got a good one for you <laughs> i got a good one for you it's business basics all right uh y'all take it easy all right and i want you to know something i can't promise you there we go bam i want y'all to see my beautiful face i can't promise you a lot guys i can't i can't but i can guarantee you if you don't do something different Nothing will ever change. Y'all take it easy and try not to do too much. Peace.